Runners across Beaumont strapped on their shoes for the fifth annual Run to Remember to honor the lives of Beaumont police officers killed in the line of duty. KFDM reporter Leslie Rangel was at the run. My hero is my daddy. He wears a uniform and not a superhero, okay? Mallory Warner won a first place trophy Saturday morning at the Beaumont Police Officers Run to Remember. Warner and her mom trained all summer for this day to support the families of fallen officers. It means a lot for us to support them to know that, you know, we haven't forgotten about them. And that, you know, if we were ever in that situation, that we have a family here. A family of supporters coming together to remember their friends, mothers, daughters, and sons. My son would be beyond himself, you know, doing this, and I think it's great, and I wouldn't miss it for nothing. Sergeant Brian Baker started the run to remember four years ago. It started with about 400 people and has since decreased to half the number of runners and walkers. A dwindling size that could make this the last time runners come together for this cause. I don't know if we'll, we'll have one next year. The purpose of the run is to remember our officers, but we also have to break even because we are a nonprofit organization. A purpose Sergeant Baker wants his community to remember. It's called the run to remember, to remember the officers who've uh, died in the line of duty here at the Beaumont Police Department. Family members and friends said this run should become a common goal for other runners across the Golden Triangle. Our husbands, these lives, men and women here put their lives in line for this community every day. And so I hope that they know that there are people who are rooting for them. In Beaumont, Leslie Ringel, KFDM 6 News. If you're interested in sponsoring or helping with the run next year, contact the Beaumont Police Department.